Hello, hello, hello. My name is Actor. Welcome back to Breakout, where we are attempting to break out from our our little. Well, I suppose we we are captured, really. I don't know. Um, last episode we set up a lot of thermal stuff. Look at that. Look at all the thermals, and I've also just made one of these, which should should complete the thing. Yes, there you go. Look at that, and we get a reservoir. Um, yes, lovely. There we go. All of that is done. And I was looking around at stuff, and, you know, there we go, there it is, I'm melting. And I was looking around, and I found, I didn't see this last episode, uh, next-gen alloys. So, signum, lumium, and enderium. And now we have all machines we need, yeah, bloody, 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 uh, will consume the ingots, but will reward you with a new pick of choice, which means that we'll be able, we'll be able to uh, unlock, like, a different area, which is exciting. That is exciting, and I wasn't sure if we'd be able to do any of that. I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I thought maybe we'd just end up doing one thing, but uh, but we have multiple. So that is that is interesting. Now, <laughs> someone did say that they'd been using a piston, like you can just push them out with a piston. I'm not going to do that um, because that's really not sort of the way you're meant to do it. But uh, you know, if anyone did want to do that, that's uh, <laughs> apparently a way that you can. Um, I keep forgetting that baked potatoes aren't really a thing. I, I put a load of them in. But anyway, um, so we need lumium, um, enderium, and signalum. So, right, let's just have a look at all of these again. I always forget all of this. Uh, copper, silver, and destabilized redstone. Okay, that is doable. Um, lumium is... Let's have a look. Uh, there it is, lumium blend. Uh, tin... Silver and energize a glowstone. Fair enough. And then, and this is the this is the big one, I think. Um, Enderium blend is lead, platinum, which we don't have a lot of, and a resonant ender bucket. Uh, and that, yeah, that's a thousand a thousand millipockets. And I think each ender pearl, there you go, is two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty, which is not a lot. Um, so that would mean that we'd need four ender pearls uh, to make one of these, basically to make four things of that. So that is well, that is an issue, and uh, that is an issue. Now, if we come to the crossroads, you can see the mob mechanics. You get two ender pearls for that for getting four bone and four rotten flesh. So we probably should get working on that. But that is only that is only two. Um, so I don't know how. <laughs> We need to get the others. Um, let's have a look, see. So, yeah, see, that is just getting four back, which is fine. Oh, bonds. Ah, now then. Now then, now then. Do we, can we at any point get one of these? Uh, no, it doesn't look like a chorus plant. Chorus. It doesn't look like we can get any of that. That would have been great otherwise. Uh, is there a way? Yeah, there's this ender dust. Ah, ender dust. Ah. Ah ha 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 ha. How much I don't know what the drop rate is of that. Oh no, I've gone I've gone I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong there's also these ender fragments, which I have no idea how to get. Um So a forty percent chance. That is not too bad. And then obviously an end stone you get if we can can I at any point Ugh end Stone, there we go. I think you believe, yeah, there you go. Uh, glowstone from a lava. So, okay, so this is doable. So, I might actually work on getting some of that. I'm gonna get the lumium and whatever's done, uh, which is not too hard with all of this here. We can do it with the old magma crucible and stuff. Uh, those will be easy. It will be the ender, the ender pearls getting that. That will be a challenge. Right then, so I've been doing uh, various things, various things. Uh, you can see I've got, I've been getting glowstone to make into endstone so that we could maybe get a little bit of ender dust. And um, the big problem I have right at the moment is that I am basically too close to this little area to be able to sp and spawn anything here. Um, I just, I literally cannot get there. Uh, anything to spawn there. I don't have, I can't, I can't be far enough away. I think this is like 20 blocks away or something, and you need just a little bit more than that to actually 
get anything to spawn. Uh, now, what I have remembered, though, is this. Creeping doll. Drop in a barrel of witch water to spawn an enderman. Ahaha. So, um, we have that. So, that is transforming. Yes, that is doing its thing. Uh, and obviously, obviously, you know, spawning an enderman doesn't mean to say you will get an ender pearl. Like, it's not a sure and fast thing. But... You maybe this is more doable. I don't know. Um, I still don't know what the best option is in regards to uh, to die. Like it's a bit of an issue because this the fisherman strainer needs bait, uh, which means I have to then you know get another strainer. But likewise, that is to do to get bone meal so that I can do floral powder. Uh, so I need bone meal, which you get from here, or black in ink sacs, which you get from here. Um, organic dye, obviously I can't do yet because I, I can't make an alloy smelter. And that is rice and uh, pulverized coal. That actually probably would be a pretty decent, pretty decent like method for us right about now. Uh, and there is, and I think black pigment, which is black stuff, like that doesn't help me. Um, and I think that's all we have. Yeah, that's that. Black pigment. Well, floral black powder, black dye uh, from the black lotus, which I don't even know where we would get that from. So it's a little bit of an issue um, at the moment. I've got to say, it's a little bit of an issue. Ooh, is this done? No, 59%. Um, I thought we'd <laughs> try it. So what I've done, made myself a sword. Made myself a sword. Look at me hanging around. And I've... This is like a little safe space from uh, from Enderman, so we'll be all right here. Um, otherwise, um, I should also probably get a little bit more done. I've got I've got these things already. Uh, have I? I say that. Uh, yes, we've got that. And I think I put lumium here somewhere. Or did I? Did I put it here? Yeah, there you go. So I've got I've got that one, and I've got that one. So we just need the ender pearl, really. Oh well, four ender pearls in order to to get this done. And I, I bet you I do this, and I won't get an ender pearl. Uh, it would be so nice if we did, though. Like really, really quite nice. Um, let's have a look at this. Is this? Yes. Oh, look at that. We've got six ender dust. That is exciting. That is. I mean, it's sad times so that that is exciting, but it is. Uh, how's that doing? There we go. Let's crush those as well. There we go. Come on, get us some more. That would be nice. We're almost at two ender pearls. Can you believe? Can you believe the excitement? Uh, right, so drop this in a barrel of witch water. Of course, of course that has done that. <laughs> um, really? Really though? What? Drop in a barrel of witch water to spawn enderman. When it says drop, do, does it mean click? Ah, yes, yes, it means click, not drop. Um, and there you go, you can see it's spawning. Interesting. I've never, I don't think I've ever done this. I've played with packs that have this doll mechanic, but I don't think I've ever bothered doing it. Uh, I don't know, so we, we can see, we can see. I don't know what other dolls we have. Uh, Blizz. Uh, what else? Basils. Shulker, which is interesting, and a Blaze, yeah. Oh, there we go. Hi. Come on, come over this way, please. To your doom. Yes, come this way. No. There we go. Finally found your way. Come on, come on now. Yes, we got a pearl. Yes, that is excellent. Right, that's that's done really well. Yes, look at that. We actually have, we actually have the required things now. Look at that. Look at that. Bam, that is that many... Boom, that is that many. I can shove this in here now. That will get me a bucket of this. Oh, and it's all, it's all working now. Bucket of resonant ender. Uh, and if you come here now, uh, I should just be able to do that. Uh, one of those. Yeah, there we go. Enderium blend. Lovely stuff. Let's come to that. Let's shove you in here. And at least get one. There we go. Right. There we go. And now it says consume. So we are going to lose all of these and claim. Um, boom. Next gen alloys. Now, I 
I reckon, I don't know, I'm tempted, what is this one? Uh, so we've got this one open, and I'm sort of tempted to, because, right, um, I've been doing some thinking. So we've got Actually Editions here, and I think Endryo there. Now then, now then, which one? Which one? I'm now pretty much thinking that we're probably going to have to open all of them somehow. Uh, pick of choice, does that do a thing? Yes, I presume so. Um, I'm thinking either Ender.io or actually Editions because they're sort of they're next to each other. I know Botania would be good in terms of the mob farm, but I think I think one of these would be good because I have a little bit of a theory uh, about the switches on the wall. Um, if you remember, if you remember. Uh, here we go. And there's like a switch here that does a thing. And well, it doesn't do a thing right now. But I imagine that there is a switch on the other side in like the other room. So I'm, I'm wondering if both of those switches do a thing. Because if we look, if we look in the crossroads one for this, you can see as you progress through the side rooms, aha, uh -huh, which we are doing, you may want to keep your eyes open for a secret. Hint, one isn't enough. Uh, so I'm thinking that there's another one on that side or that side. So, what shall we choose? Shall we choose Ender.io or actually Editions? And I sort of don't know which one is more useful to us right now. I know I was just saying that the Alloy Smelter would be good. Um, I don't know which one to choose. Um, let's go Ender.io. Let's go Ender IO, and I don't know, that might be a bad choice for me right now, but um, we'll do it anyway, because I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So let's do that, and then that, bam, we are through. There we go, let's just do that, and that. So, if I'm right, we should, we should get something here. <gasps> yes! Ah, Skystone. So is this literally just Skystone then? And is there another is there another thing? Oh, it was pistons, look at that. Let's have a gander through here then. If this is a bit dark, I'm sorry. There you go. There we go. Right. So oh oh, and that's completed that. Okay, claim. Thank you very much. So, look at that. So we've done that. We need um, 18 grains of infi- Ah, okay. So, this is this is how we do it. Uh, we need that. And then, obviously, to get grains of infinity, you do this nowadays. That is what you do. And then from here... Oh, no, no, no. We get grains of infinity. And actually, what I should have done is probably stand in the middle. Yes, we got one. We got one. So you can see here, I need... Oh, no, I just needed one. Okay, item reward, and I got... We get... Ah, we get 18. Okay, oh, great, great, lovely stuff. So this is now open. Yeah, there you go. Capacitors, ooh, dispenser, and a vacuum chest. That is pretty good. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Is there more? Yes, I got more. I got more. And this is, what, another mob farm? Is this another mob farm? Yes, yes it is. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so uh now then. Now then now then. So this is a, a good thing obviously because I don't know if I want to start um where is it? Uh crossroads. There you go. I don't know if I want to start all of this. Not sure if it's you know if it's worth it for us to do that. Inscriber, acceleration card, and silicon. I mean, they've made it fairly easy, so it probably is a good a good thing to try and do. Um, I need to take stock. I need to sort of automation kit number six. I still haven't got this one. I don't. I literally do not know. I literally do not know what that one is. Um, to to finish. Uh, storage wars. It's not. It's not this, is it? Storage wars. Pressing matters, processors. No, I still don't know what on earth that one is. Right then, I've set up some machines and I should, well I say set up, I've made some and that should complete that thing. I made some capacitors. 
Are you going to do the thing? Detect. Yeah, there we go. Claim that. Thank you very much. Uh, which unlocks... Yeah, upgrading. There you go. So upgrading industrial machine chassis uh, gets us three AA capacitors. That's pretty good. And uh, we can also do that. So, oh, let's do that. Yes, come on. Detect. Checkbox attack. Yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Please let us. Yeah, there we go. Excellent stuff. So, and this, this just lets us get grains of infinity. Uh, if we, so I've got, I don't know why, but it's given us two dispensers to, to do this with, but sure, why not? Why not? So let's do that. Um, and then we put this here like that. Now, how do we, it says automate it, but how do we make this actually do a thingy? Vacuum just basically does that. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we make this blink? I don't know. Is there a clock? I don't actually know. Is this in the pack? Uh, clock I... Nah, mm. Now then. Now then, now then. It says, right, all right, there are some... Yeah, there you go. There are some ways to do automating grains of infinity. It can be as simple as a vanilla dispenser, some flint and steel, and something to collect the results. But that's not automatic because it needs to be flicked on and off. <laughs> I'm missing something. I'm missing something. We'll come back to that in a second. And um, what I want, what I want is because I, I sort of, I'm figuring out the, the pattern. Um, upgrading my machines, we'll probably have to do that so that we can get that. Because you can see that it's called Endgame. And imagine, is that? Yeah, Next Gen Alloys. Well, that, that wasn't. But I'm thinking that all of this is part of the diamond pickaxe, basically. Um I believe, and in fact, if we go there, you can see Enderium. Uh, full block of this precious alloy is required for each gem. Aha! Automation of endstone and sieving is recommended, as is setting up automation for the crafting of the Enderium blend. So we probably need to get on that at some point, um, but it's sort of got to know what we need to do. So I am going to have a look at upgrading my machines, and we need an industrial machine and then sag mill and alloy smelter let's have a look see at those so oh wow so we need actually we need another one look at that um so we need one of these simple machine chassis which is iron alloy inger oh interesting oh no platinum oh platinum is like the bane of my life um grains of infinity and iron bars so that's not too bad and then this industrial die is some of that Nev uh, ooh, quartz, organic green dye, which is egg and rice or something, uh, and the clippings. Oh man, that is that's a little bit faffy. I dislike. I I say this in literally every series. I dislike the new Ender IO. All of this stuff. I don't mind the grains of infinity. That is fine. It's weird, but it's fine. This stuff I really quite dislike. Um and crush. So how are we getting quartz? How are we getting quartz? That's what I want to know. Soul sand. That is the way to get quartz. Okay. Okay. So we can do that. Uh, and soul sand we get, obviously, from which water into that. Okay. Okay. So I think I need an aqueous accumulator so that I can get... Um, we can get water just pumping it into that so that we can then you know, make that. That would be, I think, a better way to go about things. So I don't know if we'll get, I don't know if we'll have time to do all of this. This is a lot of stuff. And we might have to wait until next episode because this is, we're getting, it's getting a bit long, getting a bit long. I'm going to set up an aqueous accumulator now though, and uh, I'll see how much time we have left. Right. So if I put that there as well, there we go. So the aqueous accumulator, basically you put two puddles either side of it. It doesn't need power. Anything like that, you can see it's just sucking out water as it's sort of made. And this is how we can get an actual, you know, water on demand now. And of course, what I've got here is this uh, making a witch water for us. And now I could instead have an, yet another uh, tank getting all of the witch water out for when we possibly need it. Um, what I could maybe also do is set up something to get, to get soul sand from this, basically, because this is... This is how we can get soul sand. Let's just do it like this. Uh, 
That is actually, let's get, have I got a hopper? Yes, I have. I sort of want to know, in fact, if this will work. I can't remember. It's been a while. Let's do that, and let's put you there. I want to see if that will actually go in once it's uh, once it's done, because then we could possibly extract the soil sand as well. Uh, and then we've got a little soil sand farm, which is going to be useful for progressing in Ender.io, it seems. Uh, come on. Come on, do your thing. That's probably all we're going to have time for uh, today, because, well, it's, uh, you know... It's sort of taken me a fair while to get up to that. Look, I've got now cooked apples. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. And that's because I finally set this up properly now. And you can see, um, just just doing that, I've set these up here, uh, opposite their, ender eye, um, their thermal counterparts, just so I sort of know which one is which. That's just for my own benefit. Uh, there he goes. At 90%, we can just about see this. And then... If it looks, I mean, look at this. There's only, you know, a couple of things that I haven't really done yet from that. And, of course, we've got a fair few things to do here. Uh, Sterling generator. I don't think I really need that, but having some en energy conduit, not a bad thing. Oh, infinite water as well. That's quite that's quite handy. That is very handy indeed. What's... Aha! Yes! Excellent. Okay. So, um, have I got... No, I don't. Have I got... Um, I've come here. Let me just get quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. And have I got a... Yes, yes, I do. Right, bear with me, callers. If we do this, servo, and just a, a normal, a cheapo servo. I don't have those. There we go. Lovely stuff. And now to make the mess of stuff even worse than it is, um, let's put let's put that there. Let's put you there, you there like that, and let me do that first. Let's put that to whitelist. And where is where's my soul sand go? <laughs> where did it, oh there it is? Why did it go there? That was weird. Um, let's do that there like that. So that should basically... Oh, I know why it popped out and then went straight into the thing. Okay, so basically that should be like a little soul sound farm now, which is rather nice. We just have to put... Um, can I can I get out? Put whatever, whatever sand we have in there. I think I have some more in... Aha, there we go. More in here, there you go. And that is now making soul sand for us. So there we go. That's all we're going to have time for uh, today. We are, we are getting further. We are getting further. At least we've got another... That was a bit weird then. Look, my my legs are hollow. We've got another little area open, which is grand. I think Botania would be a good thing to have next, just to actually get those mobs. That would be rather nice. And then, of course, actually additions. It's nice to know, at least now, that you know getting all four sides is sort of also... Um, part of part of the plan really so thanks for watching hopefully you're still enjoying it if you are liking commenting subscribing all are lovely things that you can do to help um and check out the other series that i have running as well stone block 2 equivalent skies mechanization data pack lots of stuff i've been Hector. this has been breakout and i will see you in the next one bye bye